Welcome back to Good Day. Now, Toledo has a long automotive history, and the predecessor of the Jeep was the Willys Overland Company, and it had a showroom in Uptown Toledo. That's where we find our John Monk for Go 419. So, John, uh, what are you seeing over there? Yeah, good morning, Stephen. Yeah, we're here in Uptown uh, on Adams Street inside of the Toledo School for the Arts building. I never knew this, but they actually have a gallery on the Adams Street side of their building, the Porter Gallery, where starting today and running through the Toledo Jeep Fest, they have an homage to Willie's car show. I'm joined with Dave Gerke from TSA. Thanks for having us today. Oh, my pleasure. My yeah, pleasure. So, so give us a quick rundown of sort of uh, what this car show is about and, and how you're paying homage to uh, a part of Toledo's history that not a lot of people might be aware of. Uh, Taylor Moyer, one of our uh, history teachers, um, dove into the history of the building and uh, we learned that the school is built in a original Willie's Overland showroom wow. um, and, and, and factory. Mm -hmm. So Willie's the predecessor to Jeep. When they built the plant, they uh, came out here and uh, built this in downtown. Mm -hmm. This was considered a downtown area. Yep. And uh, this was the actual showroom. So we thought before we really opened it to the public, which happens on the 28th of August, we would do a soft opening and um, do uh, homage to Willie's. So we have cars that were actually built in this building. Talk, and then Kenny's getting shots of this Willie's night here. Do you have any information on, on, on this vehicle? It's a 29. It came to us from a, an owner in Michigan who was the president of the Willie's Night Organization of Michigan. Um, these people are all over. I, 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 I just learned that recently. Yeah. Um, and the other one that's, that's currently in here, we have two more coming in later today. Um, the other one that's in here belongs to Bob Savage from Toledo. Excellent. And what blows me away is this car you're looking at right now, folks, back in the day, cost you less than $1,000 yeah. to buy. $975 for a brand new car. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> and then also, you know, you guys are incorporating the art aspect, the Leader School for the Arts. So you have a bunch of grills uh, back here. Kenny, why don't we go take a look? You have some of your artists uh, showcasing some, some Jeep-inspired art. Yeah, so a few years ago, um, Jeep involved Toledo School for the Arts, and we pit master artists with students to um, redecorate the seven space iconic grill that is Jeep, and uh, we've commissioned those. Uh, a lot of people have, have um, kind of guided the design in it, and uh, those pieces uh, um, go back to the people that commissioned them. Mm -hmm. We sell them. Excellent. And so also, and Kenny, if you look a little to your left, there's a nice mural over there that showcases the history of, of this building. And, and I guess, why is it important that you guys are, are embracing the historic aspect of, of the building that you're in to sort of connect it with the bigger community? When we started the campaign about four years ago, um, the theme was our future is in our past. Mm. And we, we feel like this building just has such great energy. Um, so much creativity was taking mm -hmm. place here and um, one of the first plastic bottles for soda pop was also invented in this room. Tom Brady, one of our board members, um, a former board member, mm -hmm. was involved in uh, creating a plastic bottle when um, there was a, a, a business incubator here. Un unbelievable. So full rich history here. Uh, so uh, give me the nuts and bolts of the car show and, and, and the gallery here and how can people come in, when they can come in and, and check out what you guys are offering. The show runs uh, Thursday through Sunday for the next three weeks, noon and until seven, leading up to Toledo Jeep Fest. Excellent, and, and obviously, and what are, you, are you guys doing anything else special, extra for for the Jeep Fest? We have receptions almost every evening here um, from various groups of people that are interested in being part of it. And when they do the the Adam Street takeover next weekend, uh, weekend after next. Um, the Adam Street will keep it open and we'll, we'll be involved in all of that. Excellent, Dave. Well, thanks for having us this morning. We'll have more with Dave and what Toledo School for the Arts is doing for the next few weeks and for the Toledo Jeep Fest. Coming up later for my Go 419 story in the 5 o'clock news. But for now, reporting live from downtown Toledo, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.